conflict resolution and mediation learning conflict is a concept which is subsist either between parties or between two ideas within a party conflict is there everywhere conflict is pervasive even if you try to stop conflict it is not possible conflict is everywhere prevailing conflict is inevitable for the reason that man is a social animal man has to interact with people the important facet of life is that he must be together man cannot live alone the togetherness is a bondage of mankind if the man is not living in unity virtually we can say that he cannot live therefore togetherness is a bondage of mankind therefore when the mankind is together when the man lives in society it is inevitable that the conflict arises therefore in other sense we can say that without conflict a man cannot exist or the man can't could not be made to subsist therefore the conflict in true sense is we can say openly is inevitable in a man's life it is not necessarily be that for a conflict there are two parties there will be ideas whether i should go tomorrow for this function or i should not whether i must take my wife along with me to that meeting or not these are not some of the two ideas which are clashing each other that itself denotes that that is a conflict so for a conflict it is not necessary that there may be two parties to be or not to be a situation is actually the conflict it is a very serious conflict in situation for which a man is enough therefore conflict is a situation where two views or two ideas or more than two ideas of two or more persons or within a person two ideas conflicting each other is called the conflict so conflict when we say in this definition may have four important facets when we say the word conflict the one thing which is focused on our mind is the pain the pain it gives when we say conflict it is paining the very word itself pains us therefore if one says that other sense if one says that i am the happiest person in this world for all these 60 years then we can openly say that he is a liar i have so far in my life i have not met any conflict if one says what he says is a filtered lie we can very well say that 
that can never be because conflict is inevitable. Conflict pains him. I am the happiest person forever. If he says that, you know, it is actually not the truth. So, giving pain is a important characteristics of your conflict. Then take an example of a company. A general manager for the company is there. A middle level officer is there. Say for instance, the manager is there. But there is a fight or something like that, a conflicting situation between this manager and this uh, general manager. Of course, apart from their pain being given to each other, it is putting a spoke on the development of the company. Therefore, important characteristics of your conflict, another important characteristics of the conflict is that it is blocking the development of any establishment for that matter further. That is also one of the important conflict, one of the important facets of the conflict. Say for instance, if the mother and father are fighting for some other reasons or some reason or other, now the children are affected parties. The development is being curtailed. Their development is being curtailed. Therefore, in the general characteristics of the conflict is that when the parties are in conflict, maybe fight, maybe not speaking with each other, you know, or rather to say, speaking to louder between each other, any of that sort, any conflicting situation is either one way or other affecting other parties. Or in some other words, we can say that it is putting a spoke on the wheel of development of the third party who are dependent of us. So this is actually the second important facet of a conflict. Let that be. There are these two are the important, actually retrograde, non-progressive or negative aspects of a conflict. There are some other important aspects of a conflict which have to be also thought of in a different angle. When the conflict arises, that conflict is making a transformative part it is exercising a transformative part in my mind or anybody who is involved in the con conflict. So in the minds of the parties who are involved in the conflict, this conflicting situation is creating a transformative reforms, a transformative field it is making a transformative plane in their mind, whether they like it or not, whether they take it or not. But it is natural that it is making a transformative aspect in their mind. Or we can say that it is trying to find out different solutions The solutions are giving them a sort of progress to go further. So merely for the reason that the conflict is giving us pain, merely for the reason that the conflict is putting a spoke on our development, we cannot immediately blame the conflict. We cannot immediately eschew the conflict. Conflict has some positive aspects also. Conflict is making a transformation. The transformative aspect of uh, the conflict is very, very important. 
Say for instance, if the conflict subsists, if the conflict subsists, it is continuing. There will be continuous pain. There will be continuous development. There will be continuous transformation. There will be continuous progress also. Apart from the pain and suffering, the one aspect of the conflict is that it is giving us development. So this progressive aspect of conflict is to be noted. That is very, very important. The conflict reforms us. Take for example, simple example. About, rather to say, about some 15 or 20 years back, there was no CCTV cameras in our roads. Might be some 70 or years back, there was no flyovers. Now these things have come. It is only out of the conflicts, only out of the lessons being taught by the conflict. The thinking which has arisen out of the conflict being experienced by our people. Therefore, it is really the conflict which takes us further. It is progressing us. It is taking us to the next step. It is leveling us. It is teaching us so many lessons. That is very important. Therefore, though it is inevitable, though we are chasing the conflict, trying to chase the conflict away, all things are there. But we must also think that the conflict is a fundamental aspect for our further development. This is a positive aspect of the conflict, for which don't think that I am welcoming conflict, not in that aspect. But however, it is necessary that we have to take that positive aspect of the conflict also to take our further progress. Oh, Mr. Mr. Ecott is a Holy Roman Empire born theologist. He is a German theologist. He lived in Germany and made so much on the philosophical aspect of these things. He was born in Rome, developed his theories in Germany and died in France. He is such a very interesting person. He made so many, so much research on this aspect of this conflict. He said, Love darkness. The brightness is there in the darkness. He said, Truly, it is in the darkness that one finds the light. Truly, it is in the darkness that one finds the light. That is actually his words. So we have to hope that the problems always born with solutions. We have to hope that problems born with empty number of solutions. It is only that as if you are not able to decipher things in the darkness, we are not able to find out solutions for the problem, for the conflict. So already the solutions are born. It is there. It is according to our you know, might, according to our level of intelligence, we have to find out the solutions. 
So when we are in sorrow, when we are in sorrow, then the light is the nearest of all of us. So only thing is that the light is nearest of all of us. This is actually the words of Mr. E. Cott. The light is very nearby. It is only thing is that we will have to find out. Let us decipher solutions and the positive aspects of the conflict then progress and progress further. Thank you very much.